Hi, Ellen. I'm on day four. I don't work today, so today I'm going to introduce you to my gorgeous husband, and I'm going to show you a little bit of the house uh, so you see why we're fighting for this place. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm also going to get on those scales and show you where I'm at now in my weight. So let's start with my, my gorgeous husband. Come here. <laughs> Come on. He's saying no, but he yeah, he's all right. This is Lawrence. Hi, Ellen. Um, we met online. We were video chatting for quite a while before we actually met in person, and we kind of just fell in love as soon as we met. It yeah. was definitely meant and a true yeah. blessing. He's my heart. So, and Kendra's recording today, my daughter. Hi. Um, that's her. Okay, so this is our living room right here. Um, let me take you into the kitchen, and that's where I have the scale set up to step on for you, and we'll do my weight there, and I'm going to take the camera from Kendra and show you a little bit of our house, okay? So come on, we'll go over this way. This is our foyer. Please don't mind the mess. It's winter months and with all that snow out, so we've got a little bit of our gloves and hats laying around. Uh, this is our kitchen. We, uh, we've been here for a long time, my daughter and I, so we have really put a lot of effort into redecorating our house and sure, we put always be thankful and it just reminds us that we need to be thankful for all that we have. And these are my scales that I'm going to go ahead and step on now. I'm going to take this camera from Kendra real quick so that way you can see my view. All right. Say hi, Kendra. Hi. <laughs> okay, here we go. These are my scales. I'm going to bring it down so that my feet can be on it. Whew. I do not like that. All right. Looks like it is weighing at 208. Well, 207. So it's looking like right now. Okay, here's Kendra. Okay, and Ellen, just for the record, in America, I just, you know, I feel it's important that it's it's a big weight, 208. I want to be 150, but truth is there's about 40 pounds right here, so don't hold it against me, all right? <laughs> all right, I'm going to take that camera from Kendra. I'm going to show you a little bit of our home. Kendra, you want to tour her for me? Yeah. Oh, stop. Tell her, Ellen... Come on. We're getting ready to do some laundry, so we got the laundry set up. We cut off our laundry room during the winter months because it's really cold and we're trying to save on our heat bill. Uh, this is our dining room right here. We also cut it off from the living room because, well, we got to do what we got to do and saving some money. This is my elliptical, which does not get used, but Kendra uses it um, <laughs> here and there. <laughs> not very often because it, it ended up I bought it to lose this weight last year and I found out that I cannot do it with my knees it hurts me too much so this is our dining room all right Kendra come on let's take her up and we're going to show everybody our upstairs real quick now Ellen while I'm doing this I wanted to get you know tell you a little bit about me so you can get to know me a little bit more um I was in school I am 10 classes shy of my associates in psychology, but after my best friend died, uh, as I told you, I, I kind of fell into a depression, and I ended up failing out of school. They kicked me out, and um, truth be told, I got kicked out, and I, I filed my appeal. My husband really brought me out of my depression. Um, I filed my appeal, and they denied me. They said that they wanted me to pay for a whole semester before they let me back in, and um, I can't afford that. So I, uh, I just, I, I'm 10 classes shy, and I can't do it. It's very depressing. But we spent a lot of money on our house. When I'd get my student loans, I would pay like eight months of rent in advance. And uh, I also one day took 1500 out to redo my bathroom up here which looks like my husband's visiting right now. So I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but let's take you... Do what? Um, we do have a spare room. It's my arts and crafts room. I still need to get it set up. It's a little messy right now. So, uh, And then we have our hallway. Um, you can open your door. Um, this is my room. Mine and my husband's. It's a little messy. Gosh. I guess I'm saying everything's a little messy. This is my closet. <laughs> Every woman's dream, right? Yeah, it'd be a great dream if I fit into the clothes in it. I don't even fit into anything in here. It wasn't for some of the girls at work. Actually, one specifically, I wouldn't even have work clothes right now. She gave me some of her pants to help me. And these are all my clothes that I can't wear. It is the most awful feeling. My shirt. Um, Sorry. 
Okay, so, yes, depressing. Now, let's move on from that. All right, and let's follow Kendra into her room. We're doing laundry, like I said, so we're doing her bed. All her bedding's getting washed today, but this is Kendra's room. All right, and then, well, there goes my gorgeous husband. He dances just like Usher. It's so awesome. I love that man. This is the bathroom I put some money into, and I remodeled. I did it all by myself. Uh, it had one of those sliding doors on the shower, and it had carpet, and it had this really ugly rose, um, what, oh, rose wallpapering all over it. It was like a tan. It was like a tan, really ancient, huh? Like yeah. 60s wallpaper. I like the tile. And I took out the carpet, and I redid all the flooring. And the counter. And the counter, and I redid all the walls. And this is our gorgeous bathroom. It's my dream bathroom. I made it just the way I, I wanted to. And I did it all myself. I'm so proud of this bathroom. Well, I guess that would be about it for today, Ellen. Uh, here, Kendra. What? Oh. We are, um, as a family, we're getting ready to walk up to the library and get our thing posted for you on the Internet up there. Um, we hope that you enjoyed today and at least got to know us a little better on our story and got to meet my gorgeous husband. Uh, he's as beautiful inside as he is out. I love him so much. So I love you, Ellen, and we hope to hear from you soon. Um, this is our home, and we hope to hear from you soon, I guess is all I want to say. So I will talk to you tomorrow. We'll do a quick check-in because I won't be walking uh, to work tomorrow, but I will check in with you. So bye for now, Ellen. Talk to you tomorrow.